Welcome to the Heart of Hospitality podcast hosted by Duncan O'Rourke, CEO of Accor Northern Europe. Hospitality matters because it has heart. In this series, we'll be speaking to our guests to celebrate the moments and lives that make this sector so special and to spotlight the true heart of hospitality, people. In this episode, Duncan is joined by Maciej Majewski, executive chef at Sofitel Warsaw Victoria, to talk about his 20-year-long career at Accor, the changing expectations of hotel guests, and the importance of remaining humble. Good afternoon. I'm delighted to be talking to Maciej Majewski, the executive chef of the Sofitel Warsaw Victoria in Poland. Uh, uh, and of course, everybody knows Maciej was the chef of the year in 2019. Uh, we're extremely honored to have you here. Uh, thank you for taking the time, Maciej. Uh, it's very important uh, and we really appreciate you giving us some insight into your fantastic career with Accor, but also about the industry. So um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and uh, and then we'll just have a conversation as it goes through. First of all, how are you? Hello. So I'm uh, welcome everyone from uh, Atom Warsaw. It's a very beauty Atom in Warsaw. So I invite you all to to visit our beautiful country, Poland, and of course the Sofital. Yes, I, I feel very well today. Thank you very much. Yeah, much as is right. I was just actually in Poland. And it's funny. I was just there uh, last week, and I and I and we saw each other. It is. It's a beautiful, beautiful city and country. Much if, how did you get into the hospitality sector? Well, my uh, my journey in the hospitality sector started in year two thousand, and I, I was starting uh, after my army. I was uh, one year in the ar- in the Polish army, and after that, I was looking the job and the opportunity to grow in a. In like the chef, and I uh, saw the invitation to work in uh, in Poznan, in Ibis Poznan, and I start my journey in the hospitality sector. Ah, oh, that's fantastic! Talk me a little bit through your career because I know uh, from from when you started and where you came to. I know that you've been around twenty years with uh, with uh, you started twenty years ago, and probably in two thousand, and you've been in Ibis Novatos. But talk me a little bit through. Uh, how you came in and and your positions and 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 tell you are today leading uh, one of the flagship properties in Warsaw. Yes, so uh, I start exactly twenty one years ago, and uh, I, first my job was uh, in Ibis Poznan. There was, we opened in this hotel, so I start on position of commis chef. After opening, after three months, I would get promotion for the sous chef of this hotel, and I worked there like uh, one year and a half. After that, uh, I was uh, traveled to Częstochowa, to Ibis, and I was working there as the head chef in the Ibis Częstochowa. From there, my travel started in uh, the south of the Poland again. It was the Kraków. Few months I spent in uh, Ibis Kraków Centrum, like the head chef, and after I started working for the brand of the Novotel, uh, like uh, sous chef. I spent there like uh, seven months of the position of the sous chef. And next six, six years on the head chef position, and uh, from there I get opportunity to work in Warsaw in this beautiful hotel, hotel Sofitel Warsaw Victoria, and I start my journey here in the year two thousand eleven. Oh, fantastic! I mean, that's well done. It's a it's a great move in through all the different segments and brands. Do you think that food and beverage, what we offered when you first started, has it really changed a lot since today? Of course, and for me, like the experience was very nice because I start like from the brand of the Ibis, uh, and and was completely different like this twenty years ago. The offer, what we what we uh, what we offer for the guest was completely different, uh, and was uh, especially on the market of the Poland was the, was very different for the from the others. Yes, when uh, when we opened the Ibis Poznań, uh, what we cooking on the on the was something completely different than our competition competitors. So our guests were very happy. They can use the F&B outlets. Uh, they can taste our food. And especially after this many years as in uh, Ibis Częstochowa, in, uh, in Novotel, I, was, I saw that uh, people uh, growing with their expectation, our guests. So they want to. They want to visit the, the, not only the hotels uh, just to sleep, but they want to use the, our F&B outlets, like the bar, like the restaurant. They are very curious about the offer. And the offer was very changing by this year, so it's uh, very super not only for the guests but only but for me too for the grow in my profession. 
Of course, yeah, yeah. And and I agree with you, the food and beverage offer has changed, but the guests have also changed, right? The guests who come into food and beverage over the years, they've changed as, now, as well. And their expectations when it comes to food and beverage and experiences is very different to when we started, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm very much appreciate the, our guests and uh, their expectation because... Uh, uh, right now, from few years in Sofitel, we're working in the open kitchen. So this is an uh, excellent opportunity to have the co guest conversation. And we know both that uh, for many years, the food is very promoted in television. We have many programs like Top Chef, Master Chefs. All the programs, they give the uh, food on the top. Uh, so people like uh, cooking, people like to speak about the food. And the expectation of our guests right now, they are very high. They like to speak uh, about the food. They like to speak about the offer, what they eat, what they drink, about the wine offer. Uh, so I have many things, uh, many, many uh, talks with the guests right now. So they know what they expect. They know about the product. Sometimes they are very, uh, very specific about the product, like like fish, like wine, like meat. They know from where is the meat. They know how to be supposed to be prepared. So it's very nice. It's, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I agree with you. The guests have become so much more educated uh, in what they eat, in where it's from, how it's produced, uh, um, and that's obviously changed. What do you think is so special about this industry, about our industry? I think that uh, you never get bored. It's uh, it's the job when you when you when you're working, uh, even like me, so many years uh, in this industry. You don't need to. You don't be bored because you have uh, every day. You have some challenges. Yeah. Give me, and give me a nice example of that. Give me an like, example like, of that. Like for uh, for example, when I was growing in the company, it's I have this good opportunity that I can try every every time something new. I I can uh, try many 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 dishes, many foods, many uh, like for example in Sofitel we have the guest expectation are very high. On a very high level, and uh, every day we have some uh, some special question from the guest about not only about the f uh, simple food, but like the diets, uh, like uh, vegetarian dish, vegan dish, lacto-free dish, or special offer for the birthday. Like uh, they want to surprise uh, someone from the family, and uh, this is uh, you always need to be be ready for the for the guest, and this is very nice. This is uh, keep you strong. Yeah, exactly. Expect the unexpected. Exactly. That's, exactly. that's exactly. Yeah. No. No. Indeed. Um, it's 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 fantastic industry. If you could give one sentence, if you could one sentence, uh, explaining what our industry is, what would your sentence be? I think that in our industry, it's supposed to be the sentence like uh, "sky is the limit." Because exactly. uh, yeah. uh, on this, what we do, we are doing, we don't have the limits. Uh, we 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 can do everything, and uh, this is the the best thing in this industry. Yeah, I agree. It's beautiful to be able to come in this industry, because what you put in, you get back, and the sky is the limit. It just depends how far you want to go, and 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 how far you want to push you. Exactly. Um, and and when Every you do when you do these things, you always get inspired by people when you first start in the industry. You have people that really uh, touch you and, and, and mentor you and grow in the industry. Who was your inspiration as a chef? Who, who did you look up to and why? Well, um, I have many chefs inspired, but we can, uh, I can uh, split them like, uh, for, ex for example, like uh, French cuisine, of course, Alain Ducasse, very classic, very, very Yannick Aleno, a bit of mm -hmm. modernity mm -hmm. in the French cuisine. Uh, and uh, Maybe Daniel Hum, I live in Madison Park from New York. Uh, I admire this, this gentleman. And, uh, and many chefs even from Poland. Like, uh, I must say my first chef when I was 15 years, a uh, young boy, and I was starting in the, in the start to learning the cooking. My first chef was inspiration for me too. Ah, oh, fantastic. And, and I know you're working very hard, but when you do go for a meal with your family, where do you go? Oh, I love uh, small places like small bistro, like uh, especially in Warsaw. I have one place, uh, 
Bistro La Cocotte. It's French style bistro, but it's uh, remind me the uh, the Paris. So I love I love travel. That's why the, this this is the place. But I love the the um, love lots of concept like with the street food, because I love the cuisine like Asian too. So food, uh, a bit of mix of Asian, Polish even, and it's it's uh, I love it. Yeah, and you do, and you mentioned that. Uh... You know that you love traveling, and the borders have opened up again now. Thank God for that; it's starting to open. Yeah. Where would you like to travel uh, to enjoy an F and B experience? If you could choose any place to go, travel for an F and B experience, where would you go? And uh, um, and uh, th- you, there's no there's no uh, limit; you can go anywhere. Where would you go? Yeah. So, if not limits, I must say that for sure it will be France. Because uh, before uh, closing of the border last year, before the start of the pandemic, I was in uh, Nizza. So it was the beautiful place for me. But uh, on my list, number one right now, it's Lyon. So this Lyon, will be the yeah. place what I will visit. Yeah, that's a, a city steeped in history of culinary food yeah, and exactly, restaurants. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. we have a Sofitel there. Yes, and uh, I have I was I have pleasure to be in this Sofitel. I was uh, I have pleasure to b- work a few days in the in the both restaurant of this hotel. So it's a great place. Yeah, no, no, indeed, fantastic. Um, listen, what advice would you give to somebody at the start of their career? So somebody who comes in the kitchen brand new, what advice would you give them? I think that uh, the first advice for me, if you're starting, especially on the position of the commis chef, you need to be humble. Of course, that uh, we have many, many young people, very talented, and they want to grow very fast. It's super. I know that they want to learn, they want to cook. It's great. But first, you need to be humble. You need to learn. You need to listen. Uh, I must say that even I, okay, I am 43 years old, but I will learn all my life, especially yeah. in this industry, not only industry, but in my profession. And I w- when I was starting here in this hotel, I was uh, very surprised uh, when I came here. The seniority of the people was like, uh, they, they, I was 33 years when I started here. And the people in the kitchen had like 60, but they they took me like I was. Yes, I was the chef. They, I was work with them. We spent many, many days, many nights here in the hotel. But I was, uh, I was learned so much from them. Wow, it is a great experience. Yeah, fantastic. And you know, um, there's many people, young people as well, which are looking for a job and they haven't really thought about or considered hospitality, the hotel business. What would you say to somebody who's looking for a job, but they haven't thought about the hotel business? What would you tell them? I think the first the first thing if you start if you want to start in this in this industry especially in the part of my job is like a kitchen you have great opportunity to grow so first of all you will learn you have you will work with the professional people on the many position and you can grow not only in the place what you work but you can grow in the in the, our group you have grow you can grow in the brands you can travel you don't need to okay you start in Warsaw but from 5 years you can work in Dubai if you want. No problem. It depends. Everything depends on you. And this is the great opportunity. It is. And, and a lot has changed, of course, uh, uh, when we started uh, over the last decade. But, you know, the, the reputation uh, in the hotel business, especially in the kitchens, that the long hours, the bad pay, uh, or not as much. And, and the rep- Do you think that's a fair representation? Do you think those comments that people say, well, hospitality industry, you work long hours, they don't pay well, it's not good. Do you think that's fair representation? And if it's not, why? Why do you think it's not fair? Or if you do think it's fair, then it's something me and you need to discuss because we have to really sort of change that a little bit and get younger people to come into this uh, industry, training their chefs and that. I think that it's not fair. I will be honest, it's not fair because uh, even if you, it doesn't matter where you work in the kitchen, you will work hard in the hotel or in the private restaurant. You need to work hard everywhere. If you want to be good in your profession, you need to push yourself, you need to work hard. And especially in our industry, I think that it's uh, okay, you long, you have uh, in the kitchen long hours, but I think that uh, the, the price what you, what, you, uh, what you receive from the guests, the comments, what you do. You can learn so much things. Uh, so uh, 
and especially you have the stability you, you know and it's uh, we have we have the example of that like the pandemic that uh, many young people lose the job in the in the private sector and uh, here because we are a very strong group the the young people stay stay with us mm. and we are right now we are in a good position to come back and we see this uh, few months right now that it's a very good uh, very good chance for us to come to come back on the big on the track we are quite very quite busy in the restaurant we in many our outlets of the fnb in banquets in bar so it's it's great to see this uh, comeback of the guests so yeah yeah no, great and and what can we do as as an industry to get more young people training as chefs and to consider this industry How, what do you think we should be doing more i uh, think to that attract the younger children younger younger kids and, and and people coming in i think that everything starts from the school yeah like everywhere all over the world we have the culinary school like uh, for example we were, we we are in cooperation with the culinary school in warsaw uh we receive always from them some uh, stagiaire yeah pra- practicant uh, for the for the kitchen like today we have two again to start for one month with us and i have that uh, this uh, this we need to this we need to use like the connection we need to find the connection with the schools we need to go there we need to promote uh, uh, our places yes that uh, that we are a good uh, good place to work that they can learn they can grow they can develop their skills I agree entirely, um, and and we're going to start doing that as well. Uh, much of what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, which is not really planned, and that's on purpose because I'm going to ask you very quick questions, yeah. and it's one word answers, uh, uh, okay. just as uh, whatever you think as the spur, uh, uh, and it's a lot of fun, and we can have conversation okay. with this. So let's let's try this. Let's try. What is your favorite fruit? Uh, pineapple. What is your favorite vegetable? Tomato. What is your favorite restaurant in the world? Uh, Bistro La Cocotte. Bistro La Cocotte. What is your favorite chef? Anne Ducasse. What is... Uh, I'm running out of questions because you're asking them so quick there. That's very good. What is your What is your favorite fast food? Hot dog. <laughs> where, did, where did you have your hot dog? The, the hot dog. Where did you have that? In the uh, U.S.? Uh, not no no not in US. We we have a very nice in in Poland very nice concept of the street food with the hot dogs. So and with the Polish perfect. sausage with the Polish sausage. Polish sausage is very famous. Yeah, yeah. Listen, where do we see you? Where are you when we do the next podcast in five years? Where are you? What are you doing? Well, I want to de- still develop my skills. I want to travel. I want to learn. And uh, especially this opportunity, what I have here in the Sofitel that I work in the one of the best restaurants in Poland, uh, the Brasserie Modern, and uh, in the opportunity to work in the open kitchen, to have the very good contact, to not only with the with my staff but with the guests, especially. So I think that this this is my this is my goal to grow in this in this. Fantastic! Listen, Roger, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. It's really a pleasure. Uh, it's it's fantastic when I when I come to Warsaw and when and when our top guests come to this very prestigious hotel there that you always available everybody can see you the guests can see you it um, you available the food is fantastic uh, and I really really appreciate you taking the time uh, to speak with us for this very important call so thank you very much thank you very and much. I look forward uh, next time I'm in Warsaw that you take me for a hot dog no problem with pleasure. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Heart of Hospitality was hosted by Duncan O'Rourke, CEO of Accor Northern Europe. To find out more about the people that make this sector so special, visit our website and find us on Instagram. Instagram.